So here I am opposite Fable Flinders Street Station. It's uh, just after 7 a.m. and it's a Thursday morning. I'm not cheating, it's not Sunday afternoon or something. And uh, there's very few people left in the city. Actually, on the train on the way in, I happened to sneeze and the guy sitting in front of me got up and moved. There's uh, quite a few people who are here wearing masks, uh, some of which are totally useless, but anyway, they're trying. Uh, so I'm going to walk around the city, take a few shots, and uh, just show you what uh, effect it's sort of crowd control, this coronavirus thing. It's really knocked the city for a six. So, uh, the sun is coming up, the, uh, the sky is slowly brightening out here. So enjoy the pictures. So there's a few pedestrians around, but uh, there's Flinders Street, pretty much empty. And the streets, the streets are pretty deserted. Flinders Street Station, there's normally a bulk of people waiting to cross the uh, crossing there. No one's around. You see there's more workmen around here than pedestrians or people going to work. There you go again, Flinders Street Station. Deserted. Very few people. Very few people. All these uh, bikes everywhere. We're waiting for people to use them. There's no people. Federation Square. I love Federation Square. It's uh, I think it's extremely well designed and a real bonus to the city. But uh, yeah, once again, it's empty. Absolutely empty. So there you go. There's more seagulls in Federal Square than people. <laughs> and they still managed to find some food. But uh, yeah, Melbourne is decidedly, it's like uh, that film on the beach where Melbourne's the, uh, the place to film the end of the world. Hopefully the cleaner here in Fed Square will have an easy job of it today without uh, masses of people around muck, mucking the place up. When it's like this, the city does look very peaceful. There's not much happening out on the river. A lone rower, sculler, I call them, cruising down the Yarra. But uh, it is sunrise. If I wasn't shooting in black and white, you'd see a bit of colour in the clouds. But I am shooting in black and white, so bad luck. Everybody's favourite bridge to photograph, Prince's Bridge, here in Melbourne. No traffic. I tell you what, there's more birds on the river than people around here. This sun is slowly coming up uh, more and more. Melbourne's waking up to a rather dismal day. The trams are still plying their trade. There's two of them crossing the bridge now. Excellent. I'll get that shot. And uh, on the way in on the train, this. Uh, it was so empty, about one third full coming into Melbourne. That's just crazy. Melbourne looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, the sun coming up, lighting up Princess Bridge there is just magnificent. I love this city. Being a photographer, I do find things that are really enjoyable, even in times like this. And, uh, Melbourne just delights all the time. 
it's magnificent. There's someone else there enjoying the sights of the city. I mean, look at that, the boats there on the side. Just make the place look fantastic. The stillness, the reflections, everything is just beautiful this morning. And yeah, I know I came here to photograph the city in lockdown, but it's still magnificent. Even the taggers find uh, their, their way around everywhere. They must have climbed up on that little ledge to uh, tag that uh, beautiful old building. That's the human spirit, I suppose. Still plenty of workers out here. Keeping the city going. There's Princess Bridge and then Hamer Hall. Uh, site of many concerts. But uh, now also shut. You can't go to concerts and enjoy uh, performances and things like this anymore for the duration. So so many aspects of the city that are uh, now shut down. Of course, just down from Hamer Hall. Isn't that a magnificent sight? The stormy clouds, beautiful peaceful river, magnificent. Good old Melbourne. Chin up and bear it. Of course, there's still people going about their normal business, but uh, it's all a bit depressing. Now, normally I would come to Melbourne to do street photography, but this is not street photography. Okay, I'm, uh, this is not the time to do street photography in Melbourne because there's no one around. This is more my uh, COVID or covert filming of uh, Melbourne during this crisis. And I'm doing things quite differently. Normally for street photography, I'd bring a, uh, a nice wide angle lens, probably just use my X70. But I'm using the other end of the scale now, I'm using my photojournalism camera, which is the uh, X-H1. And I've got an 18 to 135mm zoom on it because I really do not want to get too close because uh, it's just not worth it. Not worth the risk. So I'll have to do a street photography video some other time when things are uh, a bit more lively. Right outside Flinders Street Station, of course, is that famous shop, City Headers. And uh, I've noticed in the window, they've got a sign saying in line with government regulations, they're only allowing four people in the shop at a time. So businesses are being hit and trying to uh, stay open, taking as many practical measures as they can. This is Flinders Street, normally bustling, busy. I could ride a horse down there. Of course, this being Melbourne, all the usual uh, people are still trying to handle life, do things as normally as they can. The big issue guys are still out and uh, they do a great job. The cafes are trying to do the best they can and uh, roped off the seats. You're not allowed to sit and have your coffee or anything. You have to uh, order takeaway and uh, that's the same in all the eateries. You just got to uh, sort of gun and run. Take your order and get out. The government says essential services are open. That includes uh, delivery guys. They keep this nation going. Lots of goods. I'm waiting on some parcels myself at home, hoping they'll come. Good on you guys. You rock. Lots of different workers around. People wearing their masks. I don't know what uh, difference it'll make. But you've got to do what you can, I suppose. There's masks everywhere, all different sorts. Now here's the tip. If you can't get your fruit and stuff from your normal suppliers, 
then uh, go and check out a, an actual fruit store. Look at that, the place is full of a nice fresh fruit. Fruit. <laughs> I can't even say it. Fruit. So the street trade is opening up and uh, no customers around though. Hope she goes well. Now here's a hair salon. But uh, they're totally shut down. The place is boarded up. And because uh, they're non essential business. So there you go. Good thing I don't have hair, or I'd be disappointed. How about this? Even the uh, legendary Starbucks cafe. It's pretty empty. As is the streets of Melbourne. I've actually, I've actually come across a uh, crowd of people here. I mean, in Queensland, these guys would be arrested. You know, you're not allowed to gather in big groups. <laughs> they don't look very impressed, I can tell you. Still people working hard to keep the city clean, which is a great thing. Good on these workers. Keeping Melbourne nice for us. If you're a visitor to Melbourne, you're a bit out of luck because the uh, visitor information hubs are shut lock it up so you'll just have to look at the map find out where you are so even the city workers here wearing masks in case of the uh, COVID virus thing got a bit of a film crew thing happening over here that's interesting don't know what they're going to be filming one thing you'll find is uh, the homeless can't leave the city they're still here and uh, feeling the brunt of it all because don't know where they're going to get any handouts. Okay, now I'm on Elizabeth Street and it's still pretty dead. Just a few people around. I was just talking to a security guy here before and uh, he was saying how the knock on effect of this, taxis uh, even, there's no one around to drive. So uh, it's affecting all levels. Okay, this is uh, another exit from Flinders Street Station. And there would normally be hundreds of people crossing the street here, coming out from the train. Hardly anyone around. It's really hitting the city hard. So here we are at one of Melbourne's most famous lane waves, DeGraves Street. And uh, it's pretty well deserted. These businesses are normally packed. They have uh, tables out on the sidewalks. This whole street turns into a cafe and it's world famous. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty well dead. So, uh, come to Melbourne, spend some money. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I've never seen Melbourne like this before. So, uh, this is really affecting, I mean, here we are. It's a laneway, it's normally full of people having their breakfast and there it is, absolutely closed. So the famous DeGrave Street is a bit of a dead end. Like here, we've finally found a coffee shop that's open and uh, one of the few around people waiting in a queue to pick up their coffee. Absolutely fantastic. If you want a bit of culture, well, sorry folks, the library is shut. <laughs> and uh, as are all libraries, all around the place. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. This is Swanson Street. Swanson Street on a Thursday morning. And it's empty. There's a few famous trams flying their trade, but basically the city's shut. Here we are again, Thursday morning, and uh, the trams are running, which is a good thing. 
because nothing else is. There's normally traffic banked up around here waiting to get through this intersection. And there we are. There's no one around. So here we are, probably Melbourne's most famous laneway, Hosier Lane, and there's no one. There is no one. Normally this place is packed full of tourists, checking out uh, all the graffiti and... And here we are, got the whole place to ourselves. This is where we meet photographers from all over Melbourne. There's normally about 50 photographers in among the tourists here, snapping away, and I'm the only one. The only one here in Hosier Lane. That's absolutely amazing. Another thing to note about Hosier Lane is if you go off this little extra laneway, which swings around to the right, this is where uh, a lot of the city's homeless congregate, because they've got to have somewhere. It's blocked off. It's a construction site. There's fences up, and uh, the homeless have moved on. They've don't know where they've gone, but uh, their home is now blocked off to them. And seriously, I've been here for a number of minutes now, Hosier Lane, and I'm not kidding you. Oh, there's a person. Wow, they must be lost. Because <laughs> the place is empty. Yeah, it doesn't take long for a bit of social commentary to happen. Corona, it's better than SARS. Fake news. Ha, <laughs> fantastic. Good old Melbourne. 9.30 Thursday morning. Yeah, so, um, there's the steps to Flinders Street Station. Absolutely deserted. Okay, I'm on the train back from Melbourne. And uh, as you can see, the carriage is empty. It's quarter past 10 in the morning, 10.15. Coming back from Melbourne to Lilydale, and uh, no one's here. There's one passenger in the next carriage, but uh, yeah, Melbourne's been like this. On the train in, there was only one third full. It should have been packed with uh, standing room only, but there you go, that's what's happening. So I had to do all this before stage three lockdowns because I would not have been able to cruise around the city just taking photos at that time. So had to do it uh, at the end of stage two now. So that's how the coronavirus situation is affecting Melbourne and the Victorian population in general. So uh, I just hope you enjoy those photos. Uh, the city has been absolutely amazing, the way it's been uh, so empty. I never thought I'd stand in Hoosier Lane and be the only person there. I never thought I'd take a photo of the clocks at Flinders Street and there's no one there. Uh, it's been an amazing experience and it will get worse. Stage three lockdowns, well, the city will be pretty well deserted. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed this. Stay safe. Ciao.